Welcome back. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about both suppression and list hygiene. And in order to do that, we're actually going to go back to the contacts area. You're going to see this menu at the top. One says list hygiene, the other says suppression list. The first we're going to look at is going to be list hygiene. Now, there are two things that we can do in order to clean up the list. The first is to blacklist certain individuals. So if you have a reason that you don't want someone to actually get an email, you can actually click this blacklist and you can make sure that this person, even if they were to sign up for your list, that they would not be able to receive email. So you can have them blacklisted for all of your list or you can have them blacklisted for specific list. And you can do that for competitive reasons, you can do that for a number of different marketing reasons, but the basic principle is that anyone that you do not want to receive your email, even if they sign up, you can actually take care of that through this blacklist feature. We're now going to click cancel. That's gonna bring us back to this list hygiene screen, and we're gonna click delete contacts. Now basically, if we determine that we want someone deleted from any or all of our lists, we can determine what those lists are and we can actually do that one by one. We can actually click this button and we can write in the email address that we want deleted from this particular list. Now we can also do it in a semi-automated way and we can do that by doing a created rule. So we're going to click create rule. And what we can say here is that if a person is inactive in one list, we can actually have them delete it from other lists. So, for example, if we determine that someone is removed from one of our lists, we can actually have them delete it from another list. And we can do that in an automated fashion. So this is a rule that will help us to unsubscribe people when they unsubscribe from one particular list. We can do that by clicking the Save button. And you can see now the logic in this feature. What we can say is that if for some reason a person is no longer part of this specific list, we can actually have them removed from another list. And we can do that as many times as we like based on the triggers that we set up in the previous screen. So if we go back here, we click Delete Contacts, we create the rule and depending on how many lists we have we can say if someone's removed from this list we can actually have them removed from as many lists as we want to have them removed and we can do that in an automated fashion now it may be that you don't want to have someone removed from a list but you do want to make sure that they do not receive certain emails in that particular case you're actually going to use the suppression lists and when we click that link we're going to create a suppression list and basically, we're going to give our suppression list a name. And once we do that, what we're going to do is we can either determine those email addresses by writing them in one by one, or we can have them uploaded using a file. Either way, what we're doing is we're determining ahead of time that we have a certain grouping of people that we do not want to receive certain emails, and we're going to be able to do that with a suppression list. So once we write in the emails and we have given our suppression list a name, we're going to click Save Suppression List. Now this will come into play when we are sending a broadcast email and we determine that we're going to send an email to the list we created. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to use part of our suppression list also. So we want to make sure that it goes to this email, but we also want to make sure that these people do not receive it. And in this case, none of the emails in our suppression list are in automate our email, so we're fine to send. But this is a way for you to be able to make sure that people in the suppression list do not receive the email that actually gets sent out in your broadcast. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.